Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Bros Game Night. I am your host, Older Bro. I'm your other host, Younger Bro. And today we continue in National Park Girls, the game where a girl who is grumpy fights another girl who is grumpy until things start to make sense. That's Grumpopolis. Yes. I cough because any noise will ease my discomfort at this point. I don't remember what this was in relation to. Anyway, uh, it's not a big deal. Just until Jesse leaves. Yeah, something, that's what they all something say. Something Jesse wants Eve to do shit. All I remember is that Je Jesse's coming and we have to get the dog and the girls yes. out. Yosemite rolls her eyes and shrugs off the encounter. I make the walk of shame back to the broom and start to sweep. So tell me, Ranger, why is she coming? Doesn't she typically call you over the radio to check in? Well, girl, I'm in under suspension. Yeah. And... Your daughter kidnapped me, and therefore we lost the government truck. So she wants to check in. She said she just wanted to catch up. Lord uh -huh. knows why, when she has a thousand more important things she could be doing. The dust on the floor has barely moved. It's just more smeared around now. Damn, broom must be defective. <laughs> Maybe she considers you important. I wonder if it's defective. It mm. doesn't have a broom yeah. end. No, that doesn't make any sense. I stop. For her sake, I hope she doesn't. I'm just going to keep letting her down. It's already happened more times than I can count. The last time she was the only thing standing between me and unemployment. I still have no idea how she managed to get the lawsuit swept under the rug. Uh, I'm going to guess she swept the person under the rug. <laughs> after shooting him them herself. <laughs> okay, though, I'm sure she'll just keep poking her nose Because the into witnesses my came up missing. Now, that is <laughs> metaphorical, right? Not literally. <laughs> if so, that's a different romance I was not told about. Don't take it for granted. You might not always have someone like that. Well, I'm gonna be live less yeah, shorter than you, so uh pretty sure I will. <laughs> if somebody doesn't stop watching the dishes this time. But there's an unfamiliar weight behind her words. A tinge of wistfulness. Yeah, I know. It's weird. No matter how hopeless I become, Jess er, became. Jesse was the only person who constantly insisted the job has any value, that I have value. I don't know if she's right, but sometimes it was enough to make me feel like I was important. Just like her show, Jesse. Since when Jessie. did you start giving good advice? Since before you were born. But you're just too stubborn to listen. Also, I stopped and being a bit back, of an asshole. And back to being a bitch, okay. No, no, no that, that was... can't be right. Yeah. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I'll give her that one. Like, that's... She wasn't quite being an asshole there. Okay, that's definitely not her heartbeat. A collage of muffled stomps and voices practically breaks down the door. It's such an unfocused racket. It sounds like a middle school marching band just descending upon the porch. No. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. Yellowstone's voice sw carries a turn tune from outside. My ears are already bracing for impact. She swings open the door, striking the wall with a doorknob. The dishes on the counter rattle. I've been working on the okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank goodness. It's not even a railroad! Both of us immediately- You broke the door! Both of us were so worried she was going to start saying who lives in a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Me and old pro just had a phase like- No! Oh. No! No! <laughs> we just got over that game. She marches into the cabin, caked from head to toe with dry mud, and tracking it right behind her. I've been working on the railroad nah, Zaya. just <laughs> of course she's in on it. Yellowstone. At least she's Yosemite flying. just being like, my mother is too cute for me to be angry at her. My mother's but, dead. But I'm so close. Zion trots in behind her, singing the rest of the verse. She's also drenched in mud, everywhere from her angelic hair to her pretty gown. At least she has the decency to fly instead of getting it on the floor. Can't you hear the whistle blow? There's going to be something blowing, and it's not going to be a whistle. Stop, yeah, stop. She stomps around the room, spreading the gospel of mud from floorboard <laughs> to floorboard. Zion follow, following behind, happily. I can feel the scowl forming across my lips, my eyes twitching. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? 
You guys should go to Broadway. <laughs> Finally, once there's a trail of muddy footsteps spiraling around the cabin, Yellowstone makes her way to me and leans in. She bitch laughs him. She pulls down on the air twice like a train whistle. I think she's done. <laughs> there's a long pause as Yellowstone waits for something. Maybe it's a smile, or maybe she's waiting for me to crack. What's the matter, Ranger? Ain't you gonna say howdy? I'm going do, to yell at do you. Do you want to be a New Yorker or a Southerner? Choose. I'm going to yell at you. That's what you're gonna get. <laughs> you. Yellowstone! You're not a Pokemon. You. My voice is a low growl. Her voice is a scared whimper. Do you realize what you have just done? I grip her shoulders, digging my fingernails into her clothes. Oh, she shrinks back, and I feel like a giant. The fear swims in her eyes. Did, did I sing too loud? Yes, but that's not the point. No, no. My hands move from her shoulders to her head. I twist her to each spot on the floor that has mud stuck to it, forcing her to face her destruction. Forcing her to face her what, the I destruction. twist her to each spot on the floor that mud is stuck to, forcing her to face her the destruction she has wrought. <laughs> There's too many hers and the. Oh, that. that ain't a big deal, Leo. I can clean that up lickety split. Lickety split, huh? How long is that? It better be seconds because my boss will be here any minute. Oh, jeez. I had no idea. Yes, you're I'm dead. Honest. I'm real sorry, Eve. Let me try and make it up to you. Then clean. As good as... As good as it... As I... <laughs> as good at it... As I... As good at it as I am. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. As good as I am at being angry. It's hard to stay that way for long. It's how often she cleans the place. I know she didn't do it on purpose. All she's guilty of is being an airhead. And getting uppity with an airhead just makes me a tyrant. <sighs> Down from fury to mild annoyance. Progress. Don't worry about it. We'll clean it up together. Knock, knock, oh. knock. Looking over her, it's hard to not at least smirk. You ever see a teenager fall off a, off a skateboard and eat dirt? It's kind of like that. Look at you. You're, you're filthy. How do you even get mud in some of these places? <laughs> see, Eve is the mom. Yellowstone is the dad. I dab my finger on my tongue and wipe around, or wipe some of the grime off her volcano. Hey, they remembered the word off. The brat <laughs> groans and pouts about it, but by the time I'm done, I can see my reflection. Same goes for you, Zion. What on earth did you get up to? You look like a derelict. What for the as, fuck's that? For as, uh, I'm not sure. For as much grief as I give, I'm like, I know... I know the word, but I don't know what she, it means in this context. For as much grief as I give Yellowstone for her butchering of the English language, at least she's not trying to bring it back to the 19th century, like Yosemite. Well, we were out picking mushrooms. And you avoided the poisonous ones, right? Yosemite squats down, wringing water out of her hair and onto her jacket. As if polishing a plate or a car, she wipes the smudges off Zion's face, and makes an attempt to get some of the mud crusted in her hair. Mm -hmm. Yellowstone almost ate one, but then I told her what you told me. That ego death stuff gives me the eevee jeevies. Here's the thing, can they be poisoned? Good question. Just what are the- what are in the mu- just what exactly are in the mushrooms in Yosemite National Park? Girl, you're a ranger, shouldn't you know you should every know mushroom this. and how it kills people? But afterwards, we decided that plain old mushrooms just weren't enough. So we decided to make mud pies. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Perfect. It was very exciting. Yosemite's eyes are a smithery or a smithery, and the daggers are being sharpened as she looks at Yellowstone. And you let this happen? Sure did. I started I it. Use my head as an oven so the pies would get nice and warm. I chop Yellowstone's volcano to shut her up. The ridges scrape my hand. You already dug your grave. Don't give the eulogy to. 
Yosemite's ire has been delayed for now. She sighs and returns to focus on Zion. Honestly, Zion, it's perfectly okay if you want to play, but does it have to be so dirty? It's... well, it's unsightly. 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 <laughs> Please. Since when did you become Victorian? I snort. This girl has the weirdest hangups. I'm not happy with it either, but she's just a kid. Let her have her fun. Don't call her that. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh -huh. Here's where we get into this. Yosemite snaps at me like a cornered dog. Me and Yelson flinch. But when she looks back at Zion, all is well. She gives her a smile, brushing her fingers through Zion's hair. Ignore her. You're a beautiful and proper young lady. Like you've always been. Just be sure to act like it, okay? Yosemite's smile looks like it's starting to strain, forming dimples I've never seen before. Yellowstone looks away, frowning as she bends down to pick up the broom. Poor Zion can only silently beg me for help. <laughs> yeah, sorry, kid. I don't think Yosemite's gonna let me win this one. Finally, she settles on Yosemite and tries to force her on smile. Her desperation for this moment to end is practically carved into her eyes. Okay. I'll try to be more careful and not get dirty when playing from now on. If you say so. She pats Zion on the head and stands up, massaging the bridge of her nose like she's just struck with she was just struck with a migraine. Sweetie. Zion snaps to attention. Oh dear, and dust off the top of the bookshelf for me, please. It's the easiest for you to reach. Yes, of course. I'll get right on that. And Jesse shows up, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know what would happen if uh, she What did I right just now. watch? Because I live in a nightmare. A nightmare called anime. Uh, Zion plucks a feather duster from one of her wings, or feather from one of her wings, then flies up to the top of the bookshelf to use as a duster. Oh god, there's more than one person in this room. Must be anime. Yosemite lumbers over to the sink, returning to the dishes. Now, I was gonna say it's the giant eyes and the literal using your <laughs> own wing feathers as dusters, and leaving me and Yellowstone alone in the middle of the cabin. I lean in and whisper as she uses the broom to swat out the dust under the couch. Why do I feel like I just witnessed something kind of gross? She whispers back. Because Yosemite's got it bad. Got what bad? Has what? <laughs> Yosemite feigns a cough from across the room. I'll see to my own as I deem fit, Ranger. Now get to cleaning before the better version of you arrives. <laughs> oh, shit. She's not wrong about that last bit, but I resent the first half. I've been here long enough to at least have some say in exactly how we play house. Yellowstone finishes her secret and slides off with the broom. It's none of my business. I won't make it my business. It's going to become it's my business. Become. But if I were to make it my business, which I am not, even though I am, there would be an uneasy tickle crawling down my neck. Who knows, though? Wouldn't be the first time a hunch ended up being the common cold. We all get to business and go about cleaning the cabin. Much to my endless relief, getting the mud out isn't as hard as I thought. That hardwood for you. Floor as God intended it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Knock, knock. As soon as the sun will swallow the earth. As sure as the sun will swallow the earth, Jesse arrives right on time. Three knocks clatter at the front door. Knock, knock. We all freeze. Three sets of eyes look at me. Crap, it's Jesse. We can see that. You know, you can hear that. Technically, we can hear it. Thank you, Zion. Thank you, Zion. If her perfume is as strong as last time, we might be able to smell it, too. Shut it, Yellowstone. We really need I to have a talk her with Yellowstone the cone soon. Again. Sorry for being a minute late. Ernie locked the keys in the truck and it was... Being a minute late, you're a minute early. A minute! A literal minute! She grunts, and I hear the porch creak. Can you come open the door for me? I'm carrying a lot of stuff, and it's actually... I got booze! Another grunt. Her muffled voice sounds pathetic on the other side of the door. Sorry, Jesse, you'll have to wait a bit longer. Uh, sorry, I'm, uh, I'm naked. <laughs> Question mark? You're a terrible liar. <laughs> That's terrible. Now, go disappear or whatever it is you things do. <laughs> Three girls come together to lock hands. Diane grabs a fine strand of her muddy hair and whines. Uh, and they teleport. Uh, we're still so dirty. Let's just splash around in the river and wash it all off. Oh, they'll actually get naked. I don't think so. 
You'll be using the campground showers like respectable- All three of them vanish right in the middle of Yell Yosemite's lecturing. A gust of wind rushes through my hair. Silence has never been so therapeutic. Gravity is kicking my butt. I sprint over to the door and open it for her. Just in time, too, because Jessie's ba- uh, Jessie looks like she's about to be crushed by the weight of all the grocery bags she's holding. Hi, Eve. I think her muscles might collapse. Did you bring the booze? The things I- No. The things <laughs> I make the poor, this poor woman endure. <laughs> the only comfort I can give her is a pitiable smile. I take half the bags and balance them in my arms as I wobble to the table. Uh... You're an angel. If you say so. That's a first. <laughs> That's valid. <laughs> we drop all the bags on the table and catch our breaths. Produce and snacks slide out and spread across it. Whew. Damn it, where's my hard <laughs> liquor? I just out of my head when you faxed me your grocery list. <laughs> uh, you must be a hungry gal. I'm bulking. I'm <laughs> bulking. <laughs> Look, I, I need a big rump. <laughs> and by bulking, I mean running my ass off so Yellowstone's cooking doesn't lead to the growth of said ass. <laughs> Seriously, she has so many dishes she wants to try out, I can't keep up. Well, whatever you Look, do, gaining a little bit I in your ass is no one's complaint. Not even moments. She flops down in the chair Yosemite usually sits in and takes off her hat so she can fan herself with it. Oh, wasn't aware I gave off the impression of someone who was happy. <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy. I slump down in my chair and rest my chin on the table. Not on the outside. We haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> but I have reason to believe that on the inside, your heart is at least half full. There's You're literally a meter. Right. <laughs> and spill the dirt you have on me. My muscles tense up. She couldn't possibly know anything about the girls, could she? Jessie slips a stack of folded papers out of her breast pocket. This right here. She slices it through it's a the stack air. Stack of complaints. Campers couldn't take the heat, huh? These are all from the rangers who work the station across the clearing. Huh? Huh? What a surprise! Oh, are the hacks upset because they can't do their jobs right? <laughs> <laughs> I put on my best baby voice, and honestly, I think it's hilarious. But Jessie must think otherwise, because she just gives me a flat glare. Let's read a couple, shall we? Uh. <laughs> Rolling my eyes, I rip open one of the bags of teriyaki jerky Jessie brought. She gives a distinguished cough as she unfolds the papers and begins reading. Ranger Adams is highly competent at her job. More than them, at least. I answer with half-chewed jerky still in my mouth. However, her confrontational demeanor and rigid personality often puts her at odds with the other rangers. We haven't even seen the other rigid? rangers. That's a new nope, one. Nope, and we never will. Just her. Jesse scoffs as she moves to the next file. On various occasions, Ranger Adams has insisted that I am incapable of properly doing my job, and in one such instance, implied a threat of bodily harm against me by making a strangling motion when she believed my back to be turned. <laughs> okay, that skid mark is a trust fund baby. He's only here because his old man rubbed elbows with the last secretary up in Washington. <laughs> this one is my favorite. Oh, boy. She reads off the next one in her stack. Despite only working Mondays through Fridays, Ranger Adams routinely comes into the station on weekends to file paperwork that is not her own and investigate office supplies to make sure they are, and I quote, up to regulation standard. They were printing out fire permits on yellow paper, Jesse. Yellow paper. <laughs> I mean, around here, but I couldn't just let them do that. <laughs> uh, that one seems like a you She takes problem. off her hat and fans herself with it. Strands of her hair blowing past her smug face. Instead of saying anything, she just smiles. So what? You here to scold me then? At first. But you know those rate how we're doing sheets? The ones that no one ever fills out? I wouldn't be so sure about that. From her breast pocket, she takes out a stack of paper. This one is way thicker though, like a deck of cards. She slides Pissed it over. Off that many people, huh? Give yourself more credit. These are all compliments. Nani? What? That can't be right. <laughs> Did I force them to sign this? I'm pretty sure I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do it at gunpoint last night. She's teasing me. That has to be it. I spider crawl my fingers to the paper, but stop just shy of grabbing it. No one actually has the willpower to tolerate me finger wagging them 
for more than five minutes. Maybe here or there, but only on the rare occasion when they're actually interested. Or if they're pretending to be polite. But I have to. It's going to be really fucked up if one uh, of those is from Yellowstone National Park. Because <laughs> what are they going to say? Oh, the ranger with the the red hair was super nice and helped us. It's like, we don't have a ranger with red hair. Oh. <laughs> but I have to. It's my job to nag them into safety. So that maybe they take care of themselves and the planet around them. Maybe. Every single one of these praises you by either name or description. There's a few bits here and there about scaring small children, but generally speaking... I mean, she is pretty scary. They love you. Hmm. She clasps her hands together and rests her chin on the back of them. The look on her face isn't smug anymore. It's scarier. It's that genuine glint of warmth in her eyes. It's pride in me. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> not because she's... Not because of the crushing duty of obligation or anything. Nothing like that. Because if what's written on the sheets is real... That would imply that the Eve who is here now is different than the one who was exiled to this cabin. What they love is a ranger in a big hat who can do the whole shtick and gimmick with them. I'm a walk-around character in a theme park! I'm a walk-around character. I slide the papers back to her, but she pushes them right on back on me. What you are is someone people can rely on and learn from. Encapsulating ideals doesn't make you a fraud, Eve. You don't pick fights for no reason. You're honest. That's something people respond to. And there's not a soul alive who doesn't have an opinion on honesty. <laughs> yeah, either honesty. they either, either they like it or hate it. That's why I love these. Even the complaints. They tell me that you're showing the rest of the world what I already know about you. That's something I don't think I'm ready to believe. I think you I put too much stock in everyone. And I don't think you put in enough. Try having faith in your fellow man for once. Uh, I'll have faith in my fellow female. Thank you. She can generalize it as that, but I don't think it's my fellow man I'm not ready to have faith in. Looking down at the stack of paper is like looking down at a Bible. <laughs> Bible. Thick, daunting, and tells me more about myself than I would like to know. I'll let you keep those. I'll let you keep It's getting... Yosemite is going to find these. Oh, no. Jesse shoots me back a smirk. That turns into a grimace. Her hand springs for her back as she lets out a pain front. <laughs> I wince as she tries to soothe the pain. She makes a discomfort her the discomfort vivid enough for me to feel oh, through no, osmosis. Her breasts are hurting uh, her the back. back of yours doing? <laughs> so kind of you to ask. <laughs> you don't have to. Ooh. All she can do is groan. Her, her entire body is, looks as stiff as a plank. Let's get you over to the couch. I move to get out of my chair, but she waves her hand at me to stay. Let it happen! Let it happen! Do you like the pain? The whole dramatic command somehow makes its way through her teeth. I swear, sometimes she's just as stubborn as me. After a few more minutes of her gritting her teeth and willing her, and willing her way through the worst of it, she collapses in the chair and catches her breath. You're going to overwork your way back into the wheelchair, you know? <laughs> I see my doctor has gotten to you too, huh? It doesn't oh. take a PhD to give common sense. Seriously, just take this surgery, Jesse. Take the surgery. And be out for a month? I don't think so. What would everyone do without me? Let's be. <laughs> they'd have a, a month of slightly less productivity. Oh no. We'd manage. What? The gift shop? Probably. Sure. It doesn't even take a second for her to correct the record. I'm sorry, that was really mean. I love you all. You all do such wonderful work. Well, then take the month. Then take the damn month. Look at you. You can't even claim a small... Oh, a small... Oh, you skipped the line. Yeah. Good job. Well, I mean, I can. I think I can reload it, but that's no. fine. No. She winces like a teen... Or whines like a teenager. I know. I blame all this paperwork. It's a lot of sitting down at desks, and my back just never took to it after the promotion. I'm filing more reports now than I ever did working patrol down in Santa Monica. And all of the reports are mainly about you. Good no, job. That's, that's not true. No. Now that, now that, that, I believe, this woman's existence, well, that I find a bit harder to take. After getting crippled into early retirement, she trains her way out of borderline paralysis, then takes a job at the Park Service. She is nuts. Certifiable, even. Just... Okay, I, I now understand You're not getting any why she is not uh, a district attorney. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What 
What's that supposed to mean? My 30s aren't sunsetting just yet. Wait, uh, she's of course 20 not. something? Yeah. It's more like golden hour. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with Her back hour. must be feeling a hell of a lot better, because now she's clasping her chest, wounded by the truth. Oof. Even your platitudes are cutting. <laughs> you liked my honesty. Yeah, not when it's about me. Not when I'm on the other end of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jessie pouts to herself, then sighs. She whispers hmm. something I'm pretty sure she wants me to hear anyways. Work in progress, Jessie. Work in progress. She twists her hat and slips it back on, and cautiously rises up from the chair. Did you remember to remove the dog bed? What? You're leaving already? You just got here. Just because it's your day off doesn't mean it's mine. I can't stay here and chit-chat forever. No. Stretching, she lifts her arms over her head and lets all the slip desks and nerves crack back into place. She gives me a chirpy little smile. Unless you say please. I slide out of Why my chair, walk over, please? grab her shoulders, and shove her towards the door. Nope. Yeah. Please. please. <laughs> <laughs> she chuckles as I escort her. Honestly, I'm sad to see her go so soon. Jesse might be the only person in the entire park I haven't pushed away through the years, even as I am physically pushing her away <laughs> Wait, from right? me right now. <laughs> she cares about me. God knows why. Oh, before I forget, what's on your agenda today? Being off work. It's my day off, you son of a bitch. <laughs> we stop at the door. A strong wind blows into the cabin. I look off into the distance, and instead of morning birds fluttering through the blue sky, I see a stroke of dark gray forming in the horizon. Looks like it's fixing to rain, so I guess I'll go see if anyone needs help keeping the water out of their tents. Maybe drop by the station and make sure nothing is leaking. Mm -hmm. The jesters over there probably would sooner let it flood than think to put a bucket under the leak. Yeah, don't do that. They think I dropped by to chew you out? <laughs> Take it easy on them for a few days, and if they ask, just say I made you cry. There goes my agenda. <laughs> for Pete's sake, Eve, it's your day off. Get some hobbies. At look, best, I, uh, look, I'm trying to get a girlfriend right now. Like I don't have a Nintendo Switch right now, so I I don't have any hobbies. Yeah, I stand in stunned silence as she marches over to the truck. I have hobbies. Oh, Jesse snorts. I have, hobbies. <laughs> I have hobbies. She climbs into the cab and starts the ignition. Leaning out the door, she shouts over the engine. Coffee doesn't count. Go read that book you ordered. Should be with the groceries. Book? When did I order a book? All I faxed her was my grocery list. Ta-ta for now. I'll radio you later. Ah, now you get to read Yosemite's book. Oh, Jessie twinkles her finger out the window and salutes me a goodbye. As I watch her drive out of the clearing, I can I just feel more confused. I said plenty of confusing things this morning. The biggest being that crap about me being someone people can rely on, but that doesn't explain what book she was talking about. The truck coughs and wheezes down the clearing and out onto the dirt road, climbing over the bend in the horizon. When it's out of sight, I step back into the cabin. My gaze shifts over to the table, and in my head I sift through the groceries. It's vague but I can make out the rectangular shape of a book pressing look, against one of the bags. Book. Really strange. In what's been a rarity since the day I was first stationed here, the cabin is silent. Even if the girls are just in another room, it's the first time in a while I don't have curious or prying eyes on me. This whole space feels dead and empty. Maybe a while back, I would have liked it, but now it feels unnerving. Unnerving. I go to the table and unpack an entire produce aisle from the bag. And sure enough, a paperback is waiting for me near the bottom. So new and unread, the cover ha still has a gleam to it. The Proust effect, the senses as doorways to lost memories. I pick it up and flip it over. It doesn't take more than a reading, reading the first sentence in the summary to know it's a Yosemite purchase. Yep. Of course it is. Who else but her? All she reads is pseudoscience and history. Then she tries to mix the two until they form theory salad. Still, Yosemite isn't someone who wastes their time without a reason. It's always a bad reason, uh, as warped as it might be. So it makes me wonder, what kind of mind labyrinth is she exploring right now? The mind. And to put a finer point on it, why didn't she mention it? Girl, not everything revolves around you. 
The door to the bathroom turns as the door squeaks. Or the knob to the bathroom turns as the door squeaks. I dropped the book so fast it may as well be college, uh, my college philosophy class. Rub -a -dub -dub. Thanks for the scrub. No. I wait. You guys were in the bathroom Stop. the whole time. I only understood half of that, but you're welcome. If you were in the bathroom Thank the whole time, much, why Yosemite. didn't you make a lot of noise? Sorry for getting messy. <laughs> you're very welcome, sweetie. Just be more careful next time. I heart is I on I heart Yellowstone. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's pretty good. The three park girls prance out of the bathroom. Not a single speck of mud to be found on Yellowstone or Zion. Instead of the outfits I've gotten used to seeing them wear, they're both wearing matching oversized t-shirts. An I Love Zion National Park shirt for Yellowstone and an I Love Yellowstone National Park shirt for Zion. It's so disgustingly adorable. My body has a physical reaction to it. Like my heart is melting or something. I hate it, but also I kind of love it. Yosemite seems to be having a similar reaction, except her gushing is focused more or less on Zion, who she watches with this dopey smile until her eyes meet and she just frowns. Okay, guys, we're gonna have to come back next time and see what the fuck's going on with this what book, and also uh, have Eve find out what the fuck's going on about Zion and Yellowstone and Yosemite. Things are happening. Yes. Anyways, until next time, the future is very uncertain. What is certain is you guys are awesome, and there'll be more Two Bros Game Night tomorrow. See you then. Goodbye. Bye.